Hey guys, what's up? I'm back, and today, not only do I got a review for you of this, um, Crossman 1077 pellet rifle, I'm also gonna demonstrate some basic firearm safety, which you can learn through online courses. As you guys know, I don't have a firearms license, I do not wish to take or succumb to the 10 hour long firearm safety course in Canada so I just choose to buy air guns and I chose to learn about real life firearm safety through online and through books. Yes it's the internet but you can still learn. So for all you baby boomers out there who think people who learn through the internet are ill informed you can go fuck yourself. Offense intended. So first off as you're gonna notice it's all black which I like. It gives it a nice kind of tactical look to it. In fact, the rifle really reminds me of uh, a SWAT rifle, something they'd use to shoot some piece of shit who takes a hostage, you know? Um, what I don't like about it is that even though the barrel is metal, the sight up here is metal, and this CO2 cap is metal, most of it's plastic. The stock is plastic, The all through, it's just plastic. The magazine's plastic, the trigger guard is plastic. Safety's on by the way and it is unloaded. So we don't gotta worry about that. The trigger, that's plastic. Even up here on the receiver it's plastic. So it's mainly plastic. It was like 120 bucks. It should have been only 100 if you ask me. Because there's a problem with it. It jams a lot. I'm just gonna take the magazine out here. Now, it's got this stupid rotary design magazine, which I really don't like. I think, you know, it's stupid. They just need to make it a proper, real-life working magazine. Like, one that's, you know, like how most magazines for airsoft guns that use BBs. They're like the real-life ones. They stack, right? But then all the pellet ones, they have to be this rotary design. I think that's stupid. They need to make one that's like a BB one but works for pellets. Because with this stupid-ass rotary design... It constantly jams. The BBs fall out of there, or they're too loose, and I have to end up taking the magazine out, clearing the jam every shot I make with this thing. It's um, 490 FPS, so it's powerful, but the jams really aren't that worth... worth um, it's really not worth it because of the jams. So, you pretty much get four of these with it. You load them up with pellets. I actually found that the Daisy... Um, the daisy pellets work better for me than the crossman ones with this particular gun. So I bought like this um, three pack of daisy pellets. You got flat heads, hollow points, and pointed ones, all for like eight bucks. And then you could pay eight bucks for the crossman ones, but you only get one kind. So it's more value, and the daisy ones work better. More value with the daisy. They work better, and you get more different kinds. So it's like a magazine. You put that in there, you lock it, you take it. Put it in there just to prove to you guys it's unloaded. There you go. Nothing in there. It, you do have like a metal CO2 valve there. And on top of that, once you put it in, what you will do, it's got kind of like two safeties. You got one down here near the trigger, and then you got one up here. It's kind of like this tab. So if that's not pulled back, it won't fire. So you pull it back to get the safety off. And then it fires. There's no CO2 in it. Like I said, it's not loaded. So, it's all plastic. It jams quite a bit. But it's powerful and it's full size. And that's a big part for me because I'm a big guy, you know. Um, and before I got this one, the only rifle I had was my Daisy uh, Red Rider rifle. And the stock was like like half the size of this, like that thin. Wouldn't even fit properly on my shoulder and all that, you know, fit in there nicely. This one does. This one fits really nicely with my arm and my shoulder. The grip fits nicely. You know, and I also really like the sights. Because down there, as you can see, you have that little neon green tab piece going through the sight. So it's good if, you know, you don't got the best lighting at the time. So, it's also got this rail up here, as you'll notice. Um, you can mount a scope on there. I kind of want to get a scope for it because this is going to be like my wrong, long range rifle. Because I'm not really looking to invest in a new rifle. I'm m really more into handguns and, you know, uh, hand air guns as opposed to, um, rifles and shotguns. I've had a few plastic BB shotguns, airsoft, and they were just garbage. I mean, BBs would fall at the magazine. 
So besides it's um faulty, I just noticed that. There's a screw hole up there. Never noticed that one. So besides it uh the fact that it jams a lot and that it's all plastic, it does have quite a range to it and quite some power. I have this book in my garage which I act it's like a hardcover book and I just it's it's a thick novel book. It's an old book, I shot through it, blew big ass holes through it. So it's powerful, it's long range, but it's all plastic and it jams a lot. So you got two cons and two pros. Now, to demonstrate some basic firearm safety for you, we're going to make it short because my video might end, you know, like I said before, video storage on my phone is small. Pretty much, here, let, let me lay it out for you guys. This in Canada, as being a rifle, particularly modeled to me after a 1022, if you ask me it's a 1022, but it's uh, known as the 1077. 177 caliber pellet pistol, pellet rifle, sorry. One, keep your finger off the trigger. Safety is on right now. Keep the safety on. Keep your finger off the trigger. Aiming away from people. Always look down the sights properly. Make sure make sure of your surroundings that are at your target and behind it because you don't want your bullet going through the paper target only to hit somebody behind it. Make sure you point the firearm in the safest available direction so that if it does accidentally discharge, nobody will get hurt. Always store it. This is a big thing. When you are done shooting for the day and you come home to your gun safe, take the magazine out, unload the magazine, unload the chamber, make sure, observe the chamber, examine the bore, verify the feeding path, make sure it's unloaded. After that, you can then put it away in your gun safe and you will rest assured that the gun is safe. So there's just some basic firearms knowledge for you and the review for the gun. I hope you enjoyed watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment. I will see you soon.